The Lord be always with you. And with us, you. Share that peace with each other, those closest to you. Peace to you all. Please get comfortable. Just a few quick announcements. Uh, a word of thanks to all of those careful uh, St. Lucians who came out and spent some time and energy organizing or trying to organize the barn. Even though the barn has been closed for the last month or two, um, we have still been in the in-gathering stages anticipating that day where we can open up and continuously serve the population who needs it. Um, we are going to be opening the doors of the barn uh, on a limited basis starting this Tuesday. So we are in gathering and we're also going to be serving those in need, which is the purpose of the barn. We're still looking at uh, the larger long-term <coughs> goal of the barn. <coughs> But we will do that all in God's timing. Um, there have been some birthdays and some anniversaries that I would like to acknowledge. Ben Menez, happy birthday, 40th birthday to you. Uh, yay for Ben. Um, and I'm going to say it now, I'm going to say it next week, and I'm going to say it the week after. Uh, next week, our youngest grandson next week our youngest grandson austin is going to be his sixth birthday happy birthday austin and yes i'll tell it next week as well and then the week after that is our son-in-law craig it's going to be his birthday so we say so we say happy birthday to craig um the mess and the grandmas have an anniversary i think the not sure. For any of you who are having anniversaries, happy anniversary to you all. Let us pray for the birthdays and the anniversaries. The Lord be with you. And also you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of life. And for those who are celebrating birthday, we pray that your Holy Spirit would continuously pour out your blessing upon them, strengthening them, guarding them, guiding them all the days of their lives. And for those who are celebrating anniversaries, we thank you that the Lord has brought you together in the covenant relationship of marriage for two with Christ as the center, a cord of three is not easily broken. We pray that you will all continuously walk towards the cross in the love of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. We thank you and we praise you all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. And last, to answer a word that I get on a weekly basis, when are we going to resume normal services? Believe me when I tell you that no one wants to resume services any more than I do. Trust me on that. But to do so requires uh, some plans to be completed and submitted and approved. And I am working really hard at completing the plans with the help of my best three members, uh, which by the way, next week is the second Sunday of the month. And so unless memory serves me correctly, we will be having a best three meeting next week. But we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there, we're gonna be slow, we're gonna be deliberate, but we will get there. We will get to the place where the tape on the pews will be less and where we will be able to worship as a community together. But we're going to take it one day at a time. So my prayer for you, for us, is to give us the patience and the grace so we can see this process through and we can do it safely and in God's time. Amen? Amen. Now, my brothers and sisters, I ask that you walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us in offering and sacrifice to God. Amen.
until his coming again. On the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread, and when he had given thanks to thee, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you, do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. For this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as you shall drink it in remembrance of me. celebrate and make with these thy holy gifts which we now offer unto thee the memorial thy son hath commanded us to make. Having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension and looking for his coming again with power and great glory. And we most humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, to hear us and with thy word and Holy Spirit to bless and sanctify these gifts of bread and wine that they may be unto us the body and blood of thy dear and beloved Son, Jesus Christ. And we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness to accept this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, whereby we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies. Grant, we beseech thee, that all who partake in this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and also that we and all thy whole church may be made one body with him, that he may dwell in us and we in him, through the same Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our day bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we and those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, send us thy peace. The gifts of God, the people of God, take them remembering that Jesus Christ died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. The table of the Lord Jesus Christ has been said, He is our host, we are his guest. Please, take and eat, and remember that you are loved. Body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. Communion will be available here at St. Luke's immediately after the service and throughout the week. In an artex, if you would desire communion to be brought to you, please let us know. And now, my brothers and sisters, the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.